Hey everyone, I'm the Linux Gamer, and I just played Battleblock Theater. It's a game developed and published by The Behemoth. I bought Battleblock Theater during the Steam Exploration Sale and got a great deal. My little brothers are big fans of The Behemoth's other title, Castle Crashers. I've never played it before, but I figured I'd take the risk. Spoiler alert, I'm really glad I did. The story of Battleblock Theater is actually quite charming. The story is conveyed through gorgeous, well-animated cutscenes between chapters. The story is told primarily through narration. Hattie Haddington and his crew of friends aboard the SS Friendship crash land on a strange island populated by humanoid cats who imprison them. Hattie is fitted with a psychic top hat which changes him into a bad guy. The cats who run the prison send you and your friends through grueling and dangerous levels for their amusement. Battleblock Theater looks great. The game has that familiar Newgrounds.com style. The Behemoth definitely have defined their own aesthetic, and it's common across all their titles. The narrator, played by Will Stamper, has a childlike quality to his delivery, which perfectly complements the bright and fun but unstatedly sinister environment of the game. His voice so perfectly reminds me of Invader Zim that I actually thought it was Richard Horowitz. But it's not. In many ways, though indirectly, Battleblock Theater reminds me of classic childhood movies where truly disturbing images are couched in colorful and cartoony whimsy. I truly appreciate this. I mean, what is this? A ravenous raccoon slash buck dog? It's disturbing. The gameplay is more than your typical platformer. Your goal is to collect at least three gems to open the exit platform. Once you do this, you need to make it to that exit. Throughout each level, you'll solve puzzles, fight enemies, discover secrets, drown, be impaled, get cooked by lasers, cooperate with your friends, sabotage your allies, and be carelessly thrown to and fro. Battleblock has both a single player and a multiplayer aspect to it. Levels change based on if you're alone or with another person. The game features local and online co-op as well as a surprising number of battle arena type modes. Battleblock Theater can use a gamepad or a keyboard for input. When I played this game solo, I was using an Xbox 360 controller. When I was playing co-op, I was using the DualShock 4 and my fiance used the 360 pad. The controllers just worked without any setup needed. The game actually has some of the most refined controls I've ever played with. You can attack in at least four different ways, you carry two weapons on you at one time, you can jump, you can throw your teammates, help them climb up a ledge, drag and push objects, and a whole lot more. I played this game on AMD hardware using the latest proprietary graphics driver from AMD's website. The only issues I've had with performance are during full motion video cutscenes. A skip every now and then, not a big deal, but that's probably my graphics card's fault. It's interesting to note that this game is only available for Linux and Windows. There's currently no Mac support. I find this interesting since most games with Linux support are also on Mac, but it shows you the direction the industry is heading. Battleblock fully integrates with your Steam inventory. Every gem you collect is added to your inventory, and you can exchange gems for player heads in the in-game gift shop. The game also comes with a level editor and has built-in workshop integration. If you enjoy platformers, solid single-player experiences, local or online co-op, or other games from the behemoth, you'll love Battleblock Theater. It's currently available for Linux on Steam. You can find a link in the description. Have you played Battleblock Theater? What do you think of it? Be sure to tell me in the comments. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel, including my previous Hammerwatch review. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Share it with your friends, and subscribe for more from me, The Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.